Reducing shipment times to the UK will ensure that the island's bananas make it to market in tip-top shape. Shipment times and crown rots are some of the complaints of the UK grocers since St. Lucia resumed exports to the market. Agriculture Minister Alfred Prosper revealed that while it takes about three weeks for the bananas to reach the UK, exports from competitors arrive there in fewer three to nine days. Prosper explained that prolonging the voyage impacts the quality of the fruit that arrives at the shipyards in the UK. When the, the, the ship was owned by, by geese, it, was, it would take 14 days. But now the Jamaican company I was told purchased the ship. The shipping, the shipping line is actually um, using a different route. And in order for the ship to make, make business, I expect that to happen. So the route is longer because they have to go from the Caribbean to other countries before they can get to UK. And that is what is causing the timeline to be a lot longer. I'm hoping that we can engage them and get them to consider the importance of you know, that and see whether they can maybe reduce on the length of time it takes. Because the longer it takes, the more <clears throat> likely our quality issues will surface when it gets to the right name facility. The former Chastney administration boasted of accessing the French territories as possibly another market for the island's bananas. But this plan never came to pass. Prosper says the current P administration is eyeing a destination close to the U.S. But for now, the region and U.K. markets are being given priority. I will not do like the previous government and the previous Minister of Agriculture to indicate in any way that we are going to look at the French market. My aim is to see how much we can expand the region, regional market, to see how we can increase countries. So far there is a, po a slim possibility that we may be exporting to other countries. I do not want to mention any other country that I am not sure of yet, but there is a possibility that is a, there is a country close to the U.S. that we may be exporting to but I want to keep it to the region and the UK for now I will not make any promises that I'm, I, I will not be able to meet and what about diversification we are moving in the direction of a cocoa project which will help diversify the, the agricultural sector we are hoping that um, with the possibility of funding being available on time 1.6 million dollars will go towards the um, a cocoa project which will um, result in one million cocoa plants being produced and will be given to the farmers. We'll also be assisting the farmers with cocoa rehabilitation and so on. So we're hoping that we're going to really revamp the whole cocoa sector because there's a market available in the UK for us. You know, we cannot meet the demand. And that will really help a lot of those persons who are probably not sure they should remain in bananas or maybe uh, not into the vegetable production, the plantain production, but can rely heavily on cocoa as a form of making profit. The Agriculture Minister revealed that St. Lucia is currently shipping 2,000 boxes of bananas to the UK market. This is the 10th week since the island resumed shipments to England. Gina Filippi, HTS News Force.